Hello guys, this is the Epiphany. Today I'm going to be continuing the Domakuro quest line and I am on Eliseo on my Fekka. The third quest of the Domakuro quest line is going to be called Caught in a Thicket of Wrath and you talk to Daimia Hikomi in order to get the quest. Just to let you know, I've recently completed this quest on my Echo Flip on the Echo server. So I have a rough you know, understanding of what to do in the quest, which makes it easier for me when I'm doing it a second time through uh, on my Fekka on Eliseo. So the first thing we want to do is go to um, Plantala and talk to Kikori. Yeah, Plantala. Kikori is this panda right here. Say good day, bring up, issue, confirm, keep talking, keep talking. And then now we need to head to the library uh, to read the bamboo harvesting register. So I'm just going to GPS there now. Okay, so once you're here, you want to go inside and you want to go upstairs. And you want to click on this group of books here on the right hand side of the table. This thing opens up. Uh, you may need this information for a later quest or something, but for this quest it's not important. So now we need to leave the library and talk to the scribe. So we're going to go outside. And then there's a scribe out here, his name is Chochi. Talk to him. Tell him your problem. Keep talking and now we need to go back to the lumberjacks workshop and talk to Kikori again. However, once you arrive at the map uh, with Kikori, you actually notice that she is missing. And this is not, you know, uh, don't be worried because uh, it's supposed to happen. And what you need to do is simply talk to the NPC that's on the map uh, that was there before, the Pendawa looking thing, uh, Taikono. You talk to him instead and the quest will update as well. Now the next thing you need to do is discover the bamboo harvesting site. So that's pretty much the dungeon, um, Damadria's, yeah, Damadria's bamboo grove. So let's go there now. It's not that far away, it's just three maps uh, away from the previous checkpoint in the quest. Once you go in here, you'll be attacked immediately by three bamboo looking things, which are basically monsters from this area. And there's going to be three waves of them. The first wave, there's going to be three of them. And then the second wave will be two of them. And then the final wave will be one of them. They're not difficult monsters, they're only level 100. So... Uh, I'll show you how they work anyway, because the fight shouldn't take long. So, obviously, as a Fekka, uh, you know that I like to put a Burning Glyph in PVM, and then Lifelessness to steal some intelligence, and then Teleglyph on it so it activates and does damage. This one is still alive, but it's going to die the next turn uh, on the Glyph, so let's hit this one. Okay, let's do some more intelligence and corrupt the bow. I uh, didn't crit, but they will die anyway on the burning glyph. Yep. Now the next wave forms, and yeah. So let's uh, steal some more intelligence. Okay, burning glyph is available, but it doesn't really matter because the fight's almost over anyway. Okay, final monster, okay so once you're done, talk to the harvesting site supervisor which is this panda here. Now I want to mention, uh, this is something that I figured out, is that if you, you know, uh, until you complete the next step which is basically do the dungeon and 
uh, beat the boss. If you leave this map and return to it in any way, like you could enter the dungeon and then you die so you end up outside the dungeon, or you can leave the area and come back to this map, you'll get attacked by the same mob of bamboos again. Uh, the the one with waves that I just did, three, three waves, uh, the first wave of three, then two, then one. So, uh, what I recommend you do is to, you know, do the dungeon and complete the dungeon entirely. Uh, yeah, use a bunch of keys. Recommend you complete the whole dungeon, you know, like don't just recall potion out to do some maging or some something like I did uh, on Echo, then when I came back I got attacked. So, um, yeah, the rest of this dungeon isn't hard at all. I'll show you what the first room is like, but I'm going to speed up the video for the second, third, and fourth room, and then I'll show you the fifth room with the boss again. Now, that being said, uh, the next thing we need to do is reach the fourth room, because in the fourth room, there's a little thing that we have to do in order to update the quest. So, okay, so let's get started. One thing I want to mention is that um, one of the achievements from the monsters here, Plantalas, can be easily done if you complete a challenge in the first room and the second room. So that's what I'm going to try and do now. Okay. Let's put a glyph here. And basically, you know, the only thing that's a bit annoying is this purple one called a flower steel and it is able to unbewitch you by one one effect duration and you know the monsters that do very very little damage as well so um one of them can make you unhealable but you know it's not that much of a problem all right let's finish this one all right let's go this way it's dead Bambutu only lost 141 HP for some reason. Perhaps it had some sustain, but... Okay, I'm going to skip ahead and I'll start recording again at the fourth room because the fourth room is what we need to do next. see here easy achievement unlocked just from doing a couple of challenges okay so once you're in the fourth room here you need to explore the harvesting site to find signs of Kikori and you click on this skeleton here once you click on this skeleton you have to read the page in the register so that would be in your quest items page here double click that some information here, uh, the rest of the page is torn, doesn't really matter because this piece of paper isn't relevant towards this particular quest. Uh, maybe you need it for a later quest, I don't know, but um, yeah, so continuing the dungeon. you're in the final room of the dungeon we have to confront the guardian of the bamboo grove who is damadria damadria is the dungeon keeper for this dungeon and since i'm here i'm going to be doing as many achievements as i can so let's have a look we have kill her first uh, we have impertinence which is ending on a turn next to an enemy we have duo which is kill with two characters maximum we have 75 score and 200 score. Um, okay, so I've got a couple of solo idols here which I'm going to use. Okay, so let's have a look. Um, you know, these are, you know, the small idols and it's not going to be that, that hard uh, to beat the monsters. If I use them, so, you know, 200 score is quite easy. 
Okay, let's see. Um, next we'll get. Mona Yoshi. Okay, let's double check this for a sec. It says. Okay, it's 200 score or more. Okay, so. Um. Yeah, okay, I'll stick it like this. 207 score, solo idols. Let's try it. Okay, let's try it. Okay, so pretty much uh, long range damage will increase the enemy's damage by a certain percentage because of my idols. So, okay. And we also have to kill the boss first, which means I'm going to be using Perception Glyph. Because Perception Glyph is quite important for, um, you know, doing damage to one single target. Um, I'm going to try and put on my Teddy Bear Barian as well. Oh, okay. I get out initiative by the enemy, so I'm going to use my mount. My mount is the 1k initiative, 300 vite, 70 intelligence. Okay, so let's see. So this boss isn't difficult. It's a level 110 monster. It puts permanent erosion on you for 8 turns. It's not much anyway because the monsters don't do that much damage. Okay, so targeting the boss first. Notice every time I hit the boss, gains um, a lot of you know, damage. That's because of my idols. But if you do this dungeon without idols, you won't have that. Okay. Let's see how strong they are. I'm ending next to the enemy here because it is a impertinence. Uh, so I need to, you know, do that. Ending next to the enemy. Um, okay, so we still need to kill this boss first. It's a natural attack. Okay, Perception Glyph. And Corrupted Bow. Please crit. Okay, yep. Now the rest of the fight is easy. They're running away, so I'm just going to hit this flower still. When I hit them at melee, they don't gain any damage because the Yosh idols only apply to range damage on them. And, you know, I'm, I'm a range damage dealer, so I'm using a four leaf, which reduces my melee damage. So when I'm standing next to them and I hit them, it won't do much. I have an ebony poison on this flower still, though, so I'm going to hit this bulb floor. Okay. I'm going to go here. So that I still maintain uh, ending next to the enemy for the impertinence. Okay, let's see. Okay, let's run next to them. And then I finish with Perception Glyph. And that's first done and impertinence done. And also the idle scores as well so that's a total of um seven achievements i believe yeah seven achievements so that's pretty nice yeah so as you can see guys the dungeon wasn't that hard at all but then again i am level 200 okay talking to the npc now F uh, find out more about her make sure you press the second option back on echo i was in a huge rush because i had people wanting to do collo with me so i pressed the first option uh, which is the wrong option so i left the dungeon and had to redo the dungeon all over again which was ridiculous so make sure you choose the second option keep talking keep talking keep talking uh now you can leave the bamboo grove and we need to go back to the village and find kikori uh from memory i believe she is located at the map um 18 comma minus 29 so i will gps there now Once you arrive at this map, here she is, Kukori, talk to her, get straight to the point, keep talking, keep talking, 
keep talking and now you need to talk to the Macnian dealer keep talking keep talking okay now um okay i believe you have to fight them so read between the lines and get ready to fight this isn't a hard fight either you know this whole area is pretty much level 100 level 110 so what we need to do is just kill them they have 3.1k hp and 2.5k so let's lifeless us here teleglyph here activates the damage and run away Okay, let's see. Uh, it looks like they have some uh, healing abilities, but that's all right. Natural attack here, and corrupted bow. Uh, no crit, it's dead anyway. Okay, now we need to go back to Daimia. Daimia is located inside the Bamboo Palace, which is basically the location that we got the quest from so our gps there right now pandala island has been out for a while now and um you know i'm making my way there with the quest but i'm taking it slowly because obviously questing and pvm is not my priority uh doing the pvm and questing especially the domokuro i'm not going to be using the egg so you know it's just a matter of doing it for fun and doing it for the purposes of you know having an egg all right reveal that you've discovered about excessive bamboo harvesting and show Corey's register keep talking keep talking watch pandawa leave the room keep talking keep talking okay now this pandawa appears and talk to him keep talking okay now take one sacred bamboo shoot which we just got from this pandawa to dame damadria and that is the npc well, technically, it's the monster of the dungeon we just killed. So I'm just going to GPS there right now. Once you're here, you talk to this NPC and there is an option that you have a gift for the mistress. So t doing that and you can arrive at the room with the npc immediately you will not have to do the dungeon again but bow respectfully keep talking keep talking keep talking keep talking okay now go before the goroku tree and talk to one of its fruits now from memory that is located up here somewhere so i'm just gonna go there now Okay, yep uh, so the map is 26 comma minus 32 and you notice there's some fruits around here talk to the fruits sympathize offer to help um, find a solution somewhat violent okay from what I remember I pressed the first option here and it started a fight I'm pretty sure that is the option you have to choose because if you wait a bit and get ready for a fight and hope uh, you will be fruitful there's no difference you're going to have a fight anyway so pick the first option and a fight is launched this fight is easy but there is a little thing that is annoying about it uh, which is worth mentioning and basically what that is is that the monsters have the ability to make each other invulnerable so uh, what you're going to do is try your best to kill one of them on the first turn immediately so you have only three to worry from, or uh, two to worry from, I mean. Okay, so they can make each other invulnerable by going next to each other and doing that. So, and then this one here will go next to that one and make that one invulnerable. Yeah, see? It has the ability to swap. So it swapped me, and then it went over there and made its teammate invulnerable. So all I'm going to do now is stay back and let them come to me or swap if that's possible okay maybe it's swap spell isn't that much range maybe i'll lure it to swapping me okay it keeps making each other invulnerable that's the annoying thing oh come on 
I'm not sure how how many squares the 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 swap spell is, but it doesn't. Uh, the websites don't have any information about that. So. So yeah, so the approach I'm trying to do here is to lure one of them to swap me, but that's not working. So the next alternative is to try and separate them manually. So I'm going to release. Tension, push this one away. Ah, yep, there's our Q. It was unable... Okay, so at least one of them wasn't able to make the other invulnerable. So that's good. Now we need to kill the one that isn't invulnerable as soon as possible. So now this one here can't make any others invulnerable because he's alone. And he doesn't have any teammates to make him invulnerable. So the rest of the fight is easy. Yeah, there we go. Okay, once you are done, you need to plant the seeds from the fallen fruit so that it's reborn so what you need to do is go into your inventory and go into your quest items you need to double click the seeds here once you double click the seeds the quest updates now you have to eat a piece of fruit which is this thing here that you have double click that and you enter this magical place uh, it's called spirit clearing go right one map and talk to the forest spirit it's a very very nice looking uh animation here that Enkama drew Pretty much looks like a perceptor, but it's like glowing and green and it looks really, really nice. Okay, bow respectfully. Okay, so here is where multiple choice comes into play because there are uh, important things you have to do. Um, I remember because the website does say what you need to do. So the first thing we need to do is first one, sense the Sylvan folks protectors hostility. Then you want to choose the third option, try to sense what the spirit is hearing. Then choose the second option here, Bamboo Stalks Rustling. Then the third option here, Damadria Singing for a Young Sapling. And then lastly, the fourth option here, the laugh, Laughter of a Ripening Fruit. Keep talking, keep talking, keep talking, keep talking, keep talking. And lastly, agree. Almost fall over, discover a piece of horn, and you're done. You get teleported out of the area and you have to go back to Daimia, who is the NPC inside the Bamboo Palace and basically... Uh, talk to her again so that pretty much is the final step for this third quest of the domokuro quest line caught in a thicket of wrath it's not that difficult as you can see uh but you know that's because i'm level 200 this area is designed for um you know level 100 level 110 players so if you're low level and you're doing this quest line uh, i highly recommend that you bring some help uh, maybe get a couple of friends who are you know, also doing the quest line, a couple of guild mates or, you know, because it's going to be very hard for you to solo if you're around level 100 or level 110. Okay, so once you're here, go inside. Talk to this NPC, go in. Talk to Damia, Hikomi, keep talking, show the wood claw, say you had to agree, and the quest is finished. So... The quest caught in a thicket of wrath has just finished uh, part of the doma kuro quest line and that was the quest that is third out of eight quests in total if you talk to the npc again you'll get the next quest which is called in the name of art thanks for watching and i'll see you at the next video